Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 8th of April 2023. It's super early here. It's just just gone 6am. It's not even light yet. Um, but <laughs> I'm awake early on a Saturday. Uh, awoken yet again by meowing cats uh, outside in the garden. Or either my garden or somebody else's garden making a hell of a racket um, and uh, waking me up in the middle of the night, meaning I haven't been able to go back to sleep, so I might as well get up and play the game of Sudoku since it's now on uh, on tap. Um, speaking of horrible noises and uh, uh, whatever, um, I see a, a horrible story today, uh, actually, to report to you. In Italy, a jogger has been uh, mauled to death by a bear, which is very unfortunate and nasty but i was thinking i would never my i've uh, you often hear me complain about my memory on this channel which is very poor but i was thinking i would never be able to remember which of the actions you're supposed to 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 do when it comes to f being faced with a wild animal you know if you're faced with a tiger or a bear or some types of wild animals some of them you're supposed to keep still some of them you're supposed to make eye contact some of them you're supposed to run away some of you are supposed to never make eye contact i would never remember which one of those uh to choose and it, with my luck for sure i'd choose the wrong one that's i'm pretty sure about that um uh, yeah i just i i suppose if you're if you're going to a place where there might be such animals, you'd be prepared. You might learn that kind of thing in ahead, ahead of time. But um, if I was just randomly faced with a wild animal, I'm afraid I'd be a goner. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku because it's expert day on a Saturday. And so uh, I won't bother to explain the rules, of course. I'll assume you know how to play the game, and I'll tell you the first thing that I can see first thing that I can see, the only thing that I can manage to see actually was the threes blocking across and giving me a three up there. Ah, but now I see that three. It has in fact given me something new. So now we've got threes in this direction. And then we can carry on with the threes like this and we'll get threes here. Uh, that's going to leave us with threes in those squares there. Okay. Now what's going across here? We've got uh, five and two down here. So five's up there. And two's over here. We've got eight there, so eight's up there. Uh, okay, we have one and six blocking down across this row here, so I know that we have one and six here. I'm not sure how that helps, but it's something anyway. One and six, so in the bottom row here, we'll be looking for three, five, and eight. And we have three and eight in the same column, so that's got to be a five. Now, that certainly will help for sure. Oh, yes. Five blocks across here, so five is in one of those two squares blocking this square. And then we have the fives blocking up there, so we can get ourselves a five in that location. Now, if this is one and six, this is, what, three and eight, so we've got the three blocking down here. There's our three, and there is our eight. And now eight up here, eight down here gives us an eight. Smack bang in the middle. Three now blocking across these rows with the threes down. And there's a three. One blocking across here means one is in one of these two squares. Let's extend the two rows uh, westward and then a one up here. Get a one there.
seven blocks up here and seven blocks across there so we get ourselves seven in that square Let's have a walk through the digits. Three is finished. Okay, we have fours blocking up here, like so. That puts a four into that square. Five across here, five up here, and up here. There's our five. Oh, okay, so four and seven block down here and four and seven block across here. So we get ourselves a pair of four and seven in those squares. Let's see what else we now know. Now we understand that these two can only be four or seven. Uh, we've got two blocking there. Oh, I know what the five that's useful five blocks across here so we got fives in those squares blocking up five across here and five across here so we definitely get ourselves a five in that square so back again four and seven
I think I'm gonna. Uh, I was going through the digits one by one, and then I got, I, I got sidetracked. Um, now I can't remember how far I got, but something else might have changed, I suppose. So let's have another look. down here and five across here. I think that's the final digit five. Okay, eight blocks down here and bl eight blocks across here. So eight is in either this square or this square, blocking to the top here, blocking to the top here, and eight blocks this square. So in this top row, eight must appear there. It can't go anywhere else. And now we have one blocking up here and one blocking up here. So in this top row, there is our one. Seven blocks up here. Here's the seven. And this would be a six. I've had my eye on that block for a long time. Uh, this is a one down here. And of course, the one blocking down here. So that's a one. That's a six. And uh, what are we left with? Six, nine. Is it in these squares? Yeah. Right, now we have six blocking up here, six across these rows here. That puts six there, six down here, six up here. Here's a six. Nine blocks this square. We need a nine in this row. Here is where the nine goes. The missing digit here is a seven. Let's have a look at this block up here. So these comprise 2 and 7. Uh, don't think I can get those just yet. And we'll be left with, OK, one blocking up here and one blocking up here. So that is the location of 1. And if this is 2 and 7, then the remainder must be 4 and 9. And again, still can't finish those just yet. That's OK. I think we've made some progress. So now we have ones across like this and a one down here. That puts one there, then one up here and across and up here. I think that's the final. Yes, that was the final digit one. Uh, nine blocks both of those squares. We don't have a nine in this row yet. Let's put the nine there, then nine blocking down here. Here is our 9, 9 down here, down here, and across here. This is the space for 9, uh, 9 across, and across here, and down here, and down there. 
gives us 9 in that square and 9 across here puts 9 there. The missing digit here is a 6. Let's add that immediately. And uh, then we have 6 blocking across here, across here and down here. So that means you're a 6. 6 up here, 6 blocking across here. Here's our completed 6 now. Uh, in this block over here we're looking for a 2. Um, that means 2 blocks across here, so that would be 2. And 2 blocks down here and across here, so that's our 2. 2 across here is not in. Yes, it is. 2 across here. I was going to say for a moment it's not enough. I just thought it was. 2 up there. That's 2. 2 back that way. Here's our 2. 2 is finished. The last number to place here is an 8. 8 blocks up here, and that gives us an 8 in that square. 8 blocks across the bottom here, so you're an 8. 8 back that way. You must be the final 8. And uh, one number for this row. Is it a 7? I think it is. So 7 goes there. 7 also blocks across there and gives us a 7. There, 7 down here means you must be 7, my friend. And then 7 down here. Hey, how about seeing it being a 7 for us? And you must be 4. And 4, and 4, and 4. And that's our Guardian Expert level game for the week. Every Saturday, we'll wait for another week until it gets a bit trickier still, hopefully. See you around. Bye-bye.